here what's going on everybody it's high pocket and carter here the superman of youtube today i'm bringing y'all a nice little key game versus darren williams um i wanted to bring out this gameplay because a lot of people been telling me that i don't play on hall of fame difficulty now i know in a few of my old vids i was putting in a lot of the free throws the five second free throws which is you know the the proof you know everybody needs the proof in the putting on who plays on Hall of Fame and who doesn't. Now, I'm gonna give you a couple things that you could tell who plays on Hall of Fame, the way Hall of Fame, you know, the way the players act, the way your team responds to certain things, the way the other teams respond to certain things. Now, let me tell you one thing about Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame is fairly easy. Now, the reason I say it's fairly easy because you only have to control one player. As long as you stop the person that you're guarding from scoring or you you just score all the time or you you pass in certain players to get assists all the time it makes the game easy now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the line real quick I'm gonna show you a little bit of that five second free throw love as I get my Ray Allen free throw ready now um one thing about Hall of Fame guys um, like I said before it's easy also it's frustrating <laughs> now what I mean is frustrating sometimes when you pass to certain teammates they don't take shots sometimes you pass to your teammates they take an open shot and miss whereas though when you're playing on Hall of Fame and the, and the computer opponent will take a shot and they'll make it and you'll be pissed off the entire game it makes you not even want to play the game now I just got subbed out because you know my I got two quick fouls you know I'm, I'm making rookie mistakes right now now another thing about Hall of Fame guys is for some reason the computer ODs on offense but never defense now I don't know why now one thing about that I will say I can score up to maybe 77 points on Hall of Fame playing against any different point guard or any team it won't matter but my team will be the the, the suffer they will suffer the entire entire game like it won't be nothing that they can do to score. Um, I will be passing it to open people. They'll miss. It's nothing that I can do. Now here, you can check out Kevin Martin getting a nice little fast break. That rarely happens because I'm always on the break first, like in this clip. You know what I'm saying? I'm always breaking because on Hall of Fame, you need to get quick buckets. You can't come down and run a half-court offense every play because that's not how real basketball works. You have to run fast breaks. You have to start passing the teammates. You gotta, you gotta do everything, <laughs> for real. And also throughout this video, I'm gonna be showing a lot of five second free throws. Cause also, a person told me, "Hey man, you played the game two times and just put in free throws from a Hall of Fame game." Some, some nonsense some dude was saying one time. Yo, I get a lot of messages and comments, people, and I need to, you know, put all the proof out there, and I need to let y'all know what I do. Um, also, my fault, I'm getting Twitter messages. Also, yeah, hit me up on Twitter, man. If anybody has a question, hit me up on Twitter because that's the quickest way to get in touch with me. Um, you can you can come hit me up on Twitter at iPodKingCarter. Um, I'm not going to ask you guys for no follow or nothing like that. Just come over, chat with the kid. You know, it is what it is, and just do what y'all do. Now, as Vujic is just getting this free throw popping, you already know what it is. I'm taking my behind to the bench once again. <laughs> it's nothing I can do. Um, I just got to watch my team play, and hopefully they can catch up before the start of the third quarter. Now, what I do want to discuss with y'all is the halftime report, because the halftime report on here is not that great. It's not that stunning. I'm going to show you guys a couple stats that may blow your mind. And it may not, you know, but because you guys probably already used to it playing NBA 2K12, but I, I just want to rant real quick. I just, I, I'm, I'm kind of pissed off. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Let's get in the halftime, guys. Alright, I'm not even, I'm not even leading and scoring on my team right now. It is what it is. We down 48 to 54. <sighs> Alright, check this out, man. Look how many free throws these dudes got. Come on, man. 
the free throw percentage wasn't even all that great. We're actually shooting better free throw, per I mean, not free throw percentage, but overall percentage in our shots than them. They're shooting 43%, whereas though, when you're playing a Hall of Fame, the computer is usually shooting 50 to 55%. I'm, I'm being dead serious. The computer, they tend to not lose when you're playing a Hall of Fame, but you just gotta, you gotta play real basketball. Now, me and D. Will, we looking good right now. The first half comparison, seeing as though I sat maybe, what should I say, 20 minutes out of the, out of the uh, two quarters. It is what it is though. But check out D. Wade, man, doing a thing against the Rockets, my old team. I don't know, man. Chris, move. You gotta do something about that, baby. Gotta bring your team to a win. <laughs> But uh, also, the Grizzlies, they doing their thing as well. The Nuggets, they, they're so-so right now. But, yo, look at the Pistons and the Bucks. Hey, yo, D. Coop, are you serious, man? 122, man? That's what y'all doing over there in Milwaukee? For real? <laughs> but it is what it is, man. Um, The Pistons, they are just butt in this game, for real. I don't know what else to say about them. Let's get back to the game. Check out my man, Hip Hop. <laughs> All right, check this out, y'all. Another thing about Hall of Fame. Yeah, I'm going to be talking about Hall of Fame this entire video. This is all y'all fault. Y'all did this to yourselves. Y'all wanted to say iPod not playing on Hall of Fame. Well, I'm going to keep bringing Hall of Fame facts to y'all. Now, another thing about Hall of Fame is people say when you're playing on Hall of Fame, they play tighter defense. That's a lie. I, that's Come on, that's a lie. You wouldn't be able to score 70 points a game if they were playing tighter defense. I'm just saying, because the moves in this game are fluid. You can do a lot of moves, but they don't play that tight. You know, a lot of people say, oh, they play tight. Look at that. Dude jumped off a pump fake. If you're, if Hall of Fame was really that cheese, they wouldn't jump off a simple pump fake, man. It would take like nine head fakes just to get them guys to budge. I'm just saying, look at this, man. I'm getting to the rim off pump fakes, getting fouled. This is Hall of Fame. Y'all saying this mode is supposed to be the hardest mode. It's supposed to be outlandish. It's supposed to be crazy. Nobody can win on it. Well, listen. Me and the Sixers, we doing good right now. Even though I'm really the only star on my team besides Kevin Martin. We doing real good right now. I'm just saying. Like, playing on Hall of Fame really isn't as hard as everybody says it is. Like, it does make me rage. I get frustrated. I have rage quitted a few games like no F that I'm not losing this game. I need to get the win. I probably played about 10 games over, you know, in the course of me having NBA 2K12. And, that, and, I'm, and I'm just keeping it 100 with y'all. I have rage quit. I have fouled out of plenty of games. <laughs> I've done it all, you know, and that's because we're playing on Hall of Fame and there's nothing that you can do. Now, I just got subbed out again. I'm subbed back in in the fourth. Um, this is a nice little, you know, takeaway real fast. Check out this alley oop, y'all. Woof. Woof. All right, look. Um, also, name correction. I'm guessing this man's name is Paul George, not Eddie George. <laughs> a lot of people was giving me the business last video, you know, and how to get an assist video because I didn't know who the dude was. Man, he was a random trade. You know, NBA 2K12 makes all these random trades and expect us to know who these people are. I don't know who these people are. What do you want me to do? <laughs> Seriously. I'm just saying. Um, also, another thing about Hall of Fame. Uh, the players, they react too easily. Like, um, Andrew Bynum, he's a glitch at this game. If you're playing a Hall of Fame and you're playing the Lakers... He steals anything that comes in the paint. He can steal the ball. Oh, I just got fouled out. Damn it. He can steal the ball from you. Like, on ball defense. He can literally rip you. Like, that's how crazy this dude is in this game. I don't know how he does it, but it, it, it's a true story. I don't, I don't know what else to say about that. Dude literally rips me every time we play. Like, probably about two to three steals on ball. That's not even me trying to go on pick and rolls, trying to pass the cutters. That's on-ball defense. I don't know what 2K12 is doing. I don't know what the 2K developers is doing. I don't know what 2K Sports is doing. They need to get to the drawing board, get like a whole bunch of five-hour energies, some Starbucks coffee, and they need to make this game better. Because I'm telling you guys this right now. The more this game sucks, and for the more time it sucks, like, if this game does not get better, 
by let's say Christmas if they don't have a patch by Christmas I guarantee it's gonna be a bunch of people frisbee in this game I guarantee it my man already told me he burnt 2k with a lighter I'm dead serious <laughs> let's get into the post conference the team struggled to stay in the game tonight and the final score ended up not being even close do you think there was anything you or the team could have done differently to change the outcome uh, I shouldn't have found out of the game, but who cares? It's 2K12. I don't usually think about things in those kinds of terms. I wasn't happy with the result, though. There are plenty of examples of ways we didn't execute or play up to our ability tonight, but I don't think I need to list them out. We've got some work to do in practice. Coach will make sure of that. I'll leave it up to him to go into details of what that means. All right, you guys, this is IKC signing out. Peace.